Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a very simple red cabbage salad. Perfect site for a grill party or something to bring to a potluck. This cabbage salad is really easy to make. All you need is red cabbage. You could use any other sort of cabbage. Red cabbage is the best because red cabbage stays rather crunchy no matter what you do with it. First thing to do is grab a bowl, grab a knife and chop up your cabbage. I generally half it, then quarter it. And once I've got quarters, I just cut out the stem and then I ate them because I want my pieces fairly short, but you could leave them at the quarter if the cabbage isn't too large and then you just have longer strands. And then I'm just gonna cut this into roughly an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths, somewhere there. Now, the next step is to blanch this. And blanching simply means you pour boiling water over it. Normally you would let this sit with the boiling water for 15 seconds, something like that. And then you would drain it and transfer it into ice water to stop the cooking process. I'm not doing the ice water thing here because I'm not concerned that this overcooks. It will cool off quick enough on its own. I happen to have a plate that covers this. You could just use a colander and I'm just gonna drain this in the kitchen sink. There we go. All right, now it's very bluish instead of red. So I'm gonna perform a little bit of magic. So here's a good swig of vinegar. That's probably, let's say two, maybe three tablespoons. Suddenly the blue turns reddish again. We add some salt, we add some sugar. That's important. Sugar and cabbage or sugar and kale retains crunch. So in all the brassica, when you add sugar, it usually retains more of the crunch. So just like, let's say a teaspoon of sugar. It, it's not supposed to make this sweet. It's just to round out the flavor a little bit and to retain the crunch. There's only one spice aside from salt and pepper that goes into this and that's caraway. Caraway, I realize, is not very common in the US. It's very common in Germany where this recipe originates. And in most cases, people would be using caraway seeds. The entire seeds are well, have you ever tried chewing on a grain like wheat? This is pretty much the experience. So this is a very tough seed. And quite frankly, I don't want that in my salad. It would have to like soak forever. You would have to let it sit for a day until these little seeds get to a point where you can actually chew them and swallow them. So what I'm doing is I put those seeds into a pepper mill and I just give it a good couple of rounds here. Start with a teaspoon of ground caraway and work your way up. At this point, the heat that's retained because we didn't throw this into an ice bath will actually make the caraway a lot more fragrant. Now the last spice adds a couple grams of black pepper. And at this point, you just let it sit for I would say 15 minutes or so. A few minutes are over. We have a little bit of a liquid development here in the bottom. And at this point, all that's missing is some kind of neutral oil. Give this a couple of tablespoons full until it's nice and shiny. And we are done. This is the kind of salad that you can do the day before. So if you're gonna go to that tailgate party tomorrow, you can make this tonight, put it in the fridge and it's gonna be even better tomorrow. Sample it before you leave, maybe add a little more salt if needed and head out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up